Hello storyboarders, my name is Eric and today I'm going to show you how to make an image and text worksheet using one of Storyboard that's pre-made templates. So let's get started. Now first we're going to pick out a template that we like. We have a bunch of great options here. I think I'm going to go with this one. Just click the copy template button that's right below and this will bring us directly into the Storyboard creator which will then prompt us to give our template a name. Now you can call yours whatever you would like. I'm just going to call mine template one and click continue. All right, now it's time for us to customize our template. This is where we get to add characters, items, scenes, update text, make any changes that we want to. So first, I would like to add a character. So go up to our characters menu. We have all of these great categories, but I think I'm gonna search in the 1900s. So let's scroll over until we find a character we like. We have a lot of great options here, but I think I'm gonna go with this 1920s flapper. So to add a character, simply drag and drop them into your storyboard. And now we get to customize. This is where we get to update facial expressions, change poses, make any changes that we want to. You can also update colors. And if you would like, you can actually click the randomize color, which will randomly select any one of these pre-selected colors here, which is actually really fun to go through. All right, uh, I think I'd like this. I think I'd just like to change the color of her dress, something a little bit easier to read. So let's go with that. Now when you're all done, just click Update Pose, and there's our character. Now we can move them anywhere we would like within our storyboard, as well as resize them. So to resize, just drag the corner of the image, and there we go. All right, now I don't need this icon of an image here, so let's delete that. Now if you select it, you can go over to your right-hand menu and click Delete. And if you're working on a desktop or a laptop computer, you can do the same exact thing, select your item and just click delete on your keyboard and that should work. Now let's go over items. Now you can browse in the items menu up top and go through all these nice categories. But if there's something specific that you would like, you can search for it in the upper right hand search menu. Now we have our character from the 1920s. So maybe let's give them a time machine for how they got here. So let's search under clock. All right, we got a bunch of great options, but I think I'm gonna go with this grandfather clock here. I feel like that's a pretty plausible time travel device for a story. So just like our character, we're gonna drag and drop it into our storyboard and let's resize it. So make it a little bit smaller and let's change the colors. Now with the item selected, just go over to your right hand menu and you can select new colors for it. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Now next is scenes. Now, we don't have any location for our character, so let's give him one. So if we go up to our scenes menu, I'm gonna go under entertainment and let's find a place for our character. All right, let's go with this uh, music dance hall scene. So just drag this scene into our storyboard and we're gonna stretch this to fit within this box. Now, if you wanted this scene to fit the entire frame, all you would have to do is go over to your right hand menu and click stretch to fill. And you can select any one of these options. So if we were to click crop to fill and click OK, it would fill the entire frame. But I don't really want to do that. I want to keep it within the box. So let's undo that. And to undo something, just go to your right hand menu and click undo. There we go. So let's go back and reposition this and resize this manually. So let's line it up with this box. We're gonna stretch this this way. All right, that fits pretty good. And we're gonna send this all the way to the back of our template so we can see our character and our, our clock. So we click here, there we go. Now this might be a little freaky for our character to have traveled from the 1920s to be in this very uh, modern club. So let's change their expression. So we just select our character Go over to the right, click Edit Pose, and they might be a little freaked out. So let's update accordingly. And just click Update Pose when you're all set, and there we go. Now, it would be weird for her to be in a club that has all these lights on by herself. So let's add a group of people. Now, if you go back to your Characters menu, we have this great category called Silhouettes. And this is a great way to add a lot of characters without having to go in and manually put in each one and change expressions. This is gonna be much faster. Now let's go to our filters option and search people dancing. All right, we got a bunch of great options here. I think I'm gonna go with this one. So let's just drag and drop 
And there we go. So we're gonna just reposition this a little bit, shrink these characters so they fit in this perspective pretty well. And we're gonna send them back a few single layers at a time. So they're behind our character and our clock. All right, I think that looks pretty good, but let's just adjust the colors. So select your item. I think this purple might work. All right, I think that works really well. Now, last but not least is text. Now you can edit any of the pre-existing text boxes. All you have to do is select it and you can put in your own words. So let's give this a title. I think accidental time travel makes sense. Let's make that all capitalized. All right, now I like the title, I like the name, but let's change the font and make it a little bit larger. So to change any text that you have, just highlight what you wanna change, go to your text editor and let's find a new font. Let's go with something that's gonna be a little bit time appropriate for some of you from the 20s. I think this looks pretty good. All right, but that needs to be much larger. So let's keep it selected, go back to our text editor and grab a new font size. Let's go really big. I think 90 should be okay. All right, great. I think that looks pretty good. Now, just like your characters and your items, you can move text boxes and resize them. Just grab them and move them wherever you would like. So let's give our title a little bit more space to breathe. Now, when you're all done with your template, all you have to do is click the save and exit button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And that is how you make a worksheet using Storyboard That. Thanks for watching and happy storyboarding.